Hi, honeys. How's you all's day going so far? Mine is going fine. And today is my one year anniversary of using my air fryer. Yes, exactly a year ago. I got my air fryer. And it has changed my life. So stay tuned for some tips and tricks I've learned since using my air fryer. Okay, I'm back. Like I said, this is my one year anniversary using an air fryer. So I chose the Power Air Fryer XL. Okay, and I got the uh, Deluxe on Amazon. And by what makes it Deluxe is you get the little, they call it a pizza pan. This little thing with a handle. And came with some metal tongs, which I don't know why they sent metal tongs, because uh, that'll scratch up the finish. But well, anyway, and it came, I think they all come with a uh, divider. So some of you all may not know what this thing is. It divides your basket. Let me show you. And you may not know, you may be wondering, like I did, if you should take these tips off. No. You can customize your fit inside the air fryer basket. You may have to pull these out a little bit to make it really fit. Anyway, we're going to get to... Okay. First things first, when you first take your air fryer out the box, this drawer is going to be taped. A piece of tape on each side, because you may immediately try to open it up. It won't open because it's taped, and you can't always see the tape, because the tape blends in. So, take the tape off. It's going to have a little sticky thing on here. You may want to pull that off. And take the drawer out. Okay. I specifically bought the Power XL because of the copper looking finish. And now I'm kind of sorry I did because it shows all the grease, all the stuck on, burnt on grease that's hard to get off. Well, anyway, um, Let me see. Um, this is how you put it back in. Let me turn this so y'all can see. Some people have trouble putting the drawer back in. You hold it at an angle. See that? It's kind of lifted up. And it slides right in. Now, if you try to put it in straight, Mine has been used so much, it's probably stretched. <laughs> well, mine works all the time now, but I used to have trouble putting this in. And it has a little guideline on the bottom where it fits on a track. See, this is a track here. See that? Two little grooves. I see it conforms to the grooves right here. Okay. What else can I tell you about the basket itself? Okay, to take the fry basket out, you push that open and press the red button. Now, if you just use your air fryer, the handle and everything's gonna be hot. So, always get a oven mitt or a dish towel or something. And uh, when you, after you cook your food, always Put a dish towel up under it to support it. Okay. Something else I found out since I have two air fryer baskets. These baskets are not interchangeable. So here's my other one. They're not interchangeable. This fry basket goes with this drawer. This fry basket goes with this drawer. And I'm going to try to switch them up. And you're going to see what happens. First, you see this holds. 
see that hoax? That's the one it came with. Now, oh, it'll fit in here. Now it's gonna act up, act like it holds. Uh uh. <laughs> okay, this one comes out. And you can really hurt yourself if you got a pot full of whole, hot food. Putting this back where it belongs. This is what I mean about it gets so nasty looking and discolored. Which one does this go to? And lately, I have taken to using Brillo pads. Okay, let me show you what I clean with. This is what I started out cleaning with. This little plasticky sponge on one side is like a scrubber side on the other. That's when I first got it, and I was really excited about it, and I didn't want to do anything to hurt it. Then I graduated to these things you get from Dollar Tree. What you call them? Scrub Buddies. They have like a rough texture. Skyrim pads. And they worked for a while. Now, this is what I use, y'all, for the inside of my fry basket. It's like Brillo or SOS pads. And this works. So, I'm going to use this till I can. I was going to discard these or give them away and get a brand new one so they have a pretty new basket, but it works fine. Okay. Let me, okay, let me talk about the trivets. I was excited when I first got it and I bought everything I thought I needed. I bought this trivet. When I saw this trivet, I was thinking I was going to put some chicken under here and put another row of chicken on top, uh-uh, it take forever. Then you still have to take the thing out and rearrange the chicken. Put the one that's in the bottom on here and the ones that's on top in here. It's too much trouble. So, not really necessary. So don't waste your money. I think this thing was $20. And I think I got this one first. Now this is good for, where's my parchment paper? If you're gonna use parchment paper, which I do, I use the perforated parchment paper sheets. I buy these from Amazon. I line the bottom of my air fryer to make it easier to clean. And if some people preheat their air fryers, I never do. But if you should preheat it, then, and you got to have your, uh, if you want your parchment paper already in there, then just put something in here to weigh it down, okay? Or else this parchment paper can fly up into the heating element and burn. It may cause a fire. I don't know. So I'll start giving you a heads up. And what else about the, I might as well put these in here while I got them out. I buy all kind of parchment paper. Whatever I find on sale, that's what I get. Lately, these have been really good, but uh, they're discontinued now. So this is what I've been getting. And it really helps with the cleanup, but not necessary. I'm trying to save money. Okay, what else can I talk about? Oh, your utensils. Okay. You need a silicone tipped uh, utensil or plastic utensils from the Dollar Tree. You know, anything that's not going to scratch up your finish. Okay? You need tongs. Well, I find that I, I need tongs. I got about three pair of tongs, and I get the I got this to uh for fish, 
Sometimes the fish has a tendency to tear up when you try to flip it. So I use either this or just a regular spatula. And you need this for your hamburgers to flip them. Something else you absolutely need. Trivet. This is what I use all the time. Because when you uh, cook your food and you take this air fryer basket out, and you're going to be using your dish towel because this is hot, just like the inside of an oven door. If your arm actually accidentally hits the door, you're going to have a burn. Or if your arm accidentally hits the, the rack inside the oven, you're going to have a burn. So you want to put this hot air fryer basket on the trivet. You know, see that? It's just a metal trivet. And you can also use a silicone trivet. This comes in a pack of five or six. They're different sizes and different colors. Just put it on there. Put it on your counter and set that. It raises it up just enough. Because some people actually put this trivet in here for some reason. But that just gives you more to wash. So. What else can I talk about? Oh, cleaning it. Um, I clean the inside of my air fryer, you know, where the coils are. Just take a hot soapy rag and clean up in here. Now, there is a, a fan up here that's very sharp. Somebody told me that they actually cut their hand cleaning up in here. So maybe you need to use a glove or just use caution. Just know that the fan is up there with sharp blades. And just clean the grease from all around. Okay, up there. And what else? And it comes with, mine came with a cord that was attached. Some people's they have to attach their cord. It don't make a difference. They cook the same. Now what else can I talk about? Um, okay, if you cook something very greasy, like bacon or... I like to cook sausage patties, the frozen sausage patties. And they make grease. So, to eliminate smoking, you know, when the thing is going, Put a little water in this basket here. Not enough to cover up and touch the uh, whatever you're cooking, but put it to neutralize the uh, the grease so it won't smoke. Okay, it's okay to use aluminum foil in here. You may want to uh, line this basket with foil. It's fine. That'll help with the cleanup of that basket. So you just lift the foil out and throw it away. And you can get the, uh, the foil sheets from Dollar Tree. Okay, I wouldn't advise putting a regular whole sheet of foil in here. But right now, uh, I've seen people use the perforated foil. So you can use that for, for uh, easy cleanup. Okay. What else? What you need? Okay. Some people cook with absolutely no oil. Well, to me, no oil means no taste. So, I use oil. Okay? So, this is my oil of choice now. Well, this is my spray bottle of choice. I've refilled this about five or six times now. And I love the way it sprays. I bought a spray bottle from Amazon. It didn't spray to my liking. I bought the, I forgot what you called, uh, the fancy spray bottle. It didn't work. I bought a couple that I didn't really like. You can also use this, but you have to keep buying this over and over and over versus buying a good spray bottle and filling it up with your own olive oil. Okay, that's a necessity. 
Okay. And you want to know what you can cook in an air fryer? I cook everything, y'all. Mostly wings, as y'all know. Um, I've cooked steak. Turn out wonderful. The edge of the steak where the fat is, that gets kind of crispy. And then the steak itself is nice and tender and juicy. Mm, mm, mm. Chops, same thing. Breaded or uh, naked. It's good. Breaded fish, yum. Uh, unbreaded fish, I fix salmon. Yum, yum, yum. I even made cornbread in it just to see if I could do it. It cooked, but I don't recommend it. It took forever. No. You can throw that stuff in the oven and be done with it. There's a lot of trouble. But it can do it. If you don't have a stove, it can be done. Okay. Okay. An air fryer versus a deep fryer. Okay, I used to deep fry everything, and I loved my deep fryer, because y'all know I love me some fried chicken, yes, but buying the, uh, I call it grease, okay, instead of oil, buying the grease, or the shortening, uh, and then actually frying the food, and then that smell stays in the house for days. Because I, I don't throw away my, I didn't throw away my grease after each use, or I didn't strain and filter it like some people do. No. Mm -mm. So that smell would stay in the grease, so it was in the house. So your house be smelling like that. Um, and then disposing of the grease once it gets too, uh, too bad to use, that's a headache. Pouring all that grease in something, throwing it away. And then washing the deep fryer, oh my goodness, no. With this, you ain't got to do all that. And I still say that my air fried breaded chicken tastes exactly or better than deep fried chicken. Some people don't believe that, or maybe they haven't had that experience yet. But mine is exactly like deep fried chicken. And then the health benefits of air frying versus, versus using all that grease to deep fry. So I'm sold on air frying, y'all. So that, that's about everything. And I hope these little tips have helped you all. And that's it. That's it, y'all. So, if you like these air fryer tips, please give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and let me know if any of these tips have helped you any. One more tip. When you're frying or air frying your food or meats, make sure your stuff is as dry as possible. Pack that stuff dry. Take a paper towel and pack the chicken wings dry. Pack your steak dry. Okay, so it'll cook up right. Okay, thanks for watching, and you all have a very blessed day. Bye. Every goodbye ain't gone. Okay, you all may wonder why I got two of the same kind of air fryer. The first one I bought, I had a problem with my uh, electric electricity in the uh, the socket in my kitchen in one particular socket, outlet, and the cord, the little plug in the cord was burning. It started to melt. So I stopped using it immediately. And so I told the power air fryer people, and uh, they sent me a whole brand new one. So now I got two baskets, and once I'm finished doing one batch of food, my other batch is ready to slide right in here and continue cooking. Okay, because I know y'all going to ask. Well, I got two. Bye for real. Now.